Okay, so this is what um, we are going to use for Allie's blend tonight. I make her blend once a day, and it's roughly around a thousand calories, and it makes anywhere from about 30 to 35 ounces, somewhere around there. So we have got a cup of milk, um, a cup of frozen strawberries, a cup of the quino. As you can see, that is kind of like an oatmeal. I have watered it down a little bit. Um, we have a, a fresh pear, half of an avocado, hard-boiled egg, fresh spinach, and then she's got her selenium, calcium, she'll get flax oil, cod liver oil, um, a multivitamin, sea salt, and we just use that to crush her, um, her selenium pill. So basically that is everything that's going to go into her feed tonight. And now I will show you um, how it will all go in the blender. Okay, this is our Vitamix blender. And um, I'm just going to put everything in there that needs to go in. Yeah, you did, honey. That's the one cup of milk. Going to do the one cup of strawberries. Just going to dump the pear in there. And it's too loud for us because I really want to be in there. And putting the egg in. The fresh spinach that I had washed. And then I'm just going to scoop out the avocado. in last because sometimes if it's too thick I don't add all of it. Um, this is just her selenium pill that I have crushed. She needed extra sodium in her diet so I just put a little bit of um, sea salt in there. She gets two teaspoons of flax oil. She'll get one tablespoon of cod liver oil, which is disgusting, by the way. She gets two teaspoons of her multivitamins, and they're just, um, it's called, it's a natural brand. We're still trying to find a corn-free brand, but she seems to be tolerating this really well, so we're sticking with this for now. And then she gets two teaspoons of calcium. Now I'm going to mix that and then add the quinoa when I'm all done. Sometimes the blends are kind of thick so they don't mix very well. Not sure if it's me or if it's the blender, but I um, still struggle with that. So I don't know how loud this is going to be for you. but.
So I'm just going to dump those in there. This looks like it's going to make roughly around 30 ounces, which is just about perfect. So I'm going to mix that in. Again, I'm always worried about plugging our tubes, so. This is coming out to be 31 ounces, which is just about perfect. One more time.